There's no art on the walls. Do you see this? Everything's blank. They're loading in tomorrow, I think. So that's exciting. New art. New art is always nice, except it sucks when it's new art and you're like, mm, <laughs> because then you're stuck with it for at least a month. But it should be good. Should be a good show. Anyway, remember yesterday when I was talking about how I keep waking up at like 6, 6.30 in the morning and it's super annoying. <laughs> well, today my body was like, how about you wake up at five in the morning? Yeah, that was great. So I was up for about half an hour at five this morning and I did not appreciate it. No, no, did not appreciate it. I did have some weird dreams last night though. <sighs> one slipping from me, but the other one was, I was watching, oh, I remember the other one now, okay. Um, I was watching a, a YouTube channel that I occasionally watch. They're travel uh, vloggers. They're a couple. And the title was like something to the effect of that time we killed and ate a person or hey, look, we're killing and eating a person. And I was like, that's weird. And it wasn't clickbait. Like they called someone on the phone and were like, hey, we need your help with this. And they came over and they're like, by the way, we're going to kill you and eat you. And the person was like, I'm not okay with that. And they did it anyway. I don't know. Like I didn't, I didn't watch the whole video in my dream because I didn't want to see that, but maybe it was just like some elaborate joke, but I was like, I don't know. So yeah, that was weird. I'm probably going to look at those vloggers in a different light now, even though it was just a dream. But the other one, I was by the coast, like by some island or something, and there was a really bad storm, and like boats were pulling their moorings all over the place, and everyone's trying to stop them from like drifting out into the open ocean, because some of them didn't have people on them, obviously. Like if they were moored, there's a good chance that there wasn't anyone on it. What am I doing with my hands? And they, one of the places that the boats were coming from was like a Japanese community, or maybe it was Japan, and like this was the entire world in a very small place. But um, like we need someone to take the boats back. And this guy's like, oh, I can take the boat back. And I was like, well, I can come because I speak a little bit of Japanese. And he's like, mm, sure you do. <laughs> and then in my dream, I was like speaking Japanese to be like, look, yes, I do speak Japanese. And it has been so long since I have tried to speak Japanese at all. So yeah, I was like, wait, is this the word? I'm like, what's the word for who? Doko? Dono? <laughs> So I like kept doing that. I'm like, I don't think either of those are right in my dream. So that was weird. I don't know if anybody else gets this, like if you're bilingual and then you have dreams in your second or third language. Yeah, because sometimes I have dreams in French, which is super weird. That was the thing. I also think at some point my mom got like a really nice fancy car or something. Yeah, weird. Anyway, I've been rambling for a bit. I'm gonna go have my breakfast drink and then get to work. A little bit tired today, not gonna lie. It usually happens when you like keep waking up in the morning. Mm. Alrighty, well I just got home. It is a beautiful sunny day outside, which is nice. I went quickly to the store because I need to get, where, where is it? I need to get a new pair of earbuds, among other things. Like I need some groceries too. All right, I got it. That did hit me right in the eye. I got a new poof and it didn't mean to match, but it matches. Um, it just rolled back on the floor. Uh, but I had to get some new earbuds because I edit with these earbuds and I use them when I go to sleep at night because I like to listen to a show while I'm playing asleep. But as a result, they kind of get torn or like stretched out a bit. And sometimes, a lot of the times I chew on them. So picked up a new pair. These are like my go-to ones, the Skull Candy jib or is it gib jip or gif anyway um so i picked those up and um i also got a package from amazon and i got myself some new workout pants they're like this big bird slash mustard yellow i'm very excited about them i mostly got these ones because they're more high-waisted than the ones I currently have. I feel like they don't look as high-waisted as they did in the picture, but we'll have to wait till I try them on. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. I'm like, you know what? I've been working hard. 
I deserve new leggings even though I know the other day I was like look at all these leggings I have that are about to fit me so that's cool also I'm wearing shorts right now which is super exciting but again because I was starting to drop sizes a bit they're really big on me and I'm sad because I really like them but like my leggings I have them in multiple sizes so it's fine Ugh, weird I know anyway I am home now I'm gonna try on those leggings because I hope they fit and um then I think I'm gonna do some editing and then it's cardio day today so we'll do some cardio later but overall feeling pretty good kind of like Maybe I want to go outside in the sun. Maybe I'll go for a walk. I doubt it, but maybe I'll go outside in the backyard and just enjoy the sun or something. I don't know. Anyway, that's where we're at. It's like just after two. It's been a while since I picked up the camera, but that's fine. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's where we're at. I'm saying but yeah a lot, but that's but that's okay. Okay, so you know how I'm really good at procrastinating and doing things that aren't the things I should be doing? Well, I decided to sew. <laughs> I haven't sewn anything with a machine for, oh dear lord, okay. Based on the color that was in here, I'm gonna guess 2009. <laughs> oh my god, that's 10 years ago. Also, the uh, bobbin filler here seems to be broken. I feel like that was an issue. Maybe not. I can't remember. Or I just can't get it to work. Like, I can get this. T Anyways, I don't know. So, I'm attempting to sew a pair of shorts out of this sheet I had right here. Sheet. <laughs> I, I've cut all the pieces. I'm seam finishing them because I seem to recall that's what I'm supposed to do. But I use this as a pattern. So, we'll see what happens. Although, like, these are a lot stretchier. And this is less stretchy. So... Yeah, we'll see what happens. They might fit me, they might not. It's, yeah, it's been a while. So, we'll see what happens, I guess. But I'm enjoying it. I remember how to use this machine mostly, so that's good. Because as you can tell from the mustardy yellow color up top here, it's an old one. But we're doing all right. It took me a while to figure out how to zigzag stitch. <laughs> but, yeah, it's okay. Anyways, I'm just watching a show over here while I do this because... There's nothing better than watching something while you sew. And um, if I manage to get these finished, then I should probably go work out after that because this is not what I should be doing, but whatever. All right, here's here's my finished shorts. They literally look like a sheet. Um, waistband's super comfy. They're a little tight though because the thing that I used for a pattern is stretchy, a sheet is not, but you know, not bad considering it's been 10 years since I've made something and it does fit. It's just too tight. <laughs> not too tight that I can't wear it, but just too tight that I wouldn't wear it out in public. But baby steps. I mean, I also made this cloth. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm feeling good. Pretty good about my skills. They aren't completely gone. I remember how to use the machine mostly. So yeah, not bad. It is currently six o'clock now though. And I have wasted like four hours on this three three and a half so yeah I'm gonna tidy up here and then think about maybe eating dinner because I'm getting kind of hungry at this point workout done exciting I mostly just did cardio and then stretched and so I'm nice and cool now except my socks are really sweaty I don't know what's going on there but yeah it was it was chill which was kind of nice I'm also decided to wear my new pants they're so yellow they're I don't remember if I mentioned this earlier I did try them on and they're not as high-waisted or compressing as I thought they'd be but they're super comfy and I love the color so I'm sure it'll be fine but now I'm gonna change quickly because I don't want to go out in these I'm gonna go to the store to get something probably from like the deli to eat I don't know I'm too lazy to cook so hopefully there's something there that I can either ooh Maybe I want that instead. Anyways, hopefully there's something there that I can either grab and just eat when I get home or will be quick to eat when I get home. Yes, you know what I'm thinking. Anyways, I look like a tomato with the green on top. It's all good. I'm gonna head out and I will check in with you probably when I get back. So I just forgot my main character's name. <laughs> I, yeah. I don't know how that happened. I was sitting here and I was just typing out a note for myself and I wrote one of the secondary characters name and I was like blank and I was like oh my god what's her name? I was like Natalie? Is it Natalie? It's not Natalie. What is it? And it got to the point where I was like okay I need to look at the wall because I've got my main character's name all over the wall. But yeah I don't know how that happened. 
crazy. Okay, so my battery just died, but I am obviously back from the store. The deli was closed, which made me sad, and I guess I could have gone and grabbed fast food, but I didn't think about that, and so I bought food, and I came home and I cooked it, I ate, and um, now I'm editing. I've done one chapter, I'm just putting a note at the end of the chapter because I'm thinking I want to expand it a little bit. It's probably short, um, <laughs> but that's what I'm up to, and other than forgetting my main character's name, it's going well, and then I need to take some time to clean my room because it's a little bit of a disaster right now and I don't feel good about it. I'm still really impressed that I made a pair of shorts today in like three and a half hours. Like max. I'm, I'm sitting stupidly in my chair because I can. But yeah, I mean it's not the best work. Like there's, it's a little bit um, puckered here and there's like <laughs> stitches coming undone here because I had to seam rip part of it because I sewed it up wrong the first time but Overall, I'm gonna say impressed. <laughs> Alrighty, so I spent some time tidying my room because it was a disaster. We are looking so much better now. Clothes are all put away or in the hamper, wherever they belong, so good job me. And um, I think we can call it an A now. I don't think I have a lot of fudge today. Could be wrong, I don't know. I rambled quite a bit earlier in the day, but I just, making those shorts just was not planned and um, took up more time than expected. I kind of want to make more shorts though, but with not a sheet this time <laughs> and a slightly better pattern. I think I can make that one better. Anyway, um, with that, I'm gonna head away to edit this and then go to sleep. So thank you so much for coming along on today's adventure and I will see you tomorrow when we do very similar things. Good night. Mm -hmm.